Welcome back to DA Griffin Hobby. My name's Dave. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at my new 080. I got the new motor. First thing I did was go over to my DC transformer and see if it worked. As soon as I hit it with power, it? it was working. Fantastic. Already a step ahead. So I plugged it into the reverse board and did the same thing, powered it up with the transformer. And guess what? It works. So it seems that the reversing board is okay and that it was just the motor that was the problem. So now I just have to figure out how to put this all back together. Well, this is pretty messy, so I'm gonna do some cleanup and then we'll get into putting it back together. A lot of the lubricant that's down here is all black. Uh, there is some clean lubricant, but it's all shoved in this way. I try to clean some of that out and add more lubricant. I cleaned off the wheels and lubricated the axles. I inspected the side rods and everything looks okay. I cleaned out a bunch of dark, dirty lubricant from the well in here. It's a really big space, so I don't see how the lubricant's supposed to stay on the gears, because there's just a whole lot of room down there. I'll put some in there and put some on the gear on the motor and hope for the best. We got the mounting plate, uh, this rubber piece, which I'm kind of assuming goes there so that there's something between the motor and the plate. I don't think it w matters which way you put the motor, but the mounting plate will only fit one way. Snug, tight, but not too tight. Don't want to strip it. I think everything else mounts to this plate, so I guess I'll try to put that in. Uh, make sure this arm for the puffer is forward, so otherwise this, <laughs> that's not going to work. Okay, so you have to make sure a little flapper here for the smoke unit comes up and above the front of this so that the post from the plastic part can sit through the cast part and come out right down there so you can attach it. The electrical pickup wires come through this little square spot right here, or rectangular. Okay, so there's got to be a long screw that goes through that hole and up into the plastic. There are a few long screws to coarse thread, to fine thread. Since it's going into plastic, I'm gonna say it's the coarse thread. Well, that threaded in nice and easy, so I guess I made the right choice. Okay, this little gasket piece goes here. Probably helps minimize the flapping sound of the cup dropping. I believe the spring goes in there so that the cup springs back down. I don't know if the smoke unit works, but if it doesn't, that's a problem for another day. The switch for the smoke unit goes on this side. Now I need to go back and look at some pictures to make sure I have the wires right and the placement of the board right. So the board was oriented this direction and the blue wire with the white tracer on it is the positive. The blue wire with the white tracer goes to the gray wire and the red wire that goes to the board. The board sits in this plastic piece. I don't know if it matters which way this piece goes in, but I'm not gonna worry too much. I'm just gonna pop this thing into place and put it in. And it just kinda clips in, hopefully, without breaking. There we go. The motor the rear lamp, the front lamp. I'll plug the motor in and snap the board into place. And I don't know that it snaps as much as it just sits there in that groove. Before I go and attach the wires, I'm gonna secure the switch for the reverse lockout.
one blue wire coming up from the ground, a blue wire going to ground the smoke unit, black wire going to ground the board, and the blue wire that is the additional ground to the tender. Now I'll just use a piece of shrink tube to seal it up for now. Let me just double check the wires. I have the blue with the white tracer, the red and the gray. All the blues, a black, that's it. So theoretically, this should work. Let's go find out. Well, it works. It doesn't seem to be smoking. Uh, the smoke unit on my other one doesn't work all that well either. It's reversing fine and running, which is great. Uh, it seems to wobble. Uh, maybe it could use a complete teardown and uh, rebuild, but... I don't really want to do that. It's a little noisy. And it runs a good bit faster than my other 080, so I guess they are probably not going to be double heading anything. Okay, well for an initial $25 purchase price and a $28 motor replacement, I guess it's okay. I don't know that I would have spent $53 on this, but I guess it's uh, immaterial because I did. The first hurdle has been cleared. It works. Not great, but I'm okay with it for now. Uh, I'm gonna put it all the way back together, maybe inspect all the side rods again, make sure everything's lubed, and then I'll run it. And if I feel the need, well then I'll take it back apart and strip apart the whole bottom section, which probably isn't as complicated as I'm imagining it to be. So I'm not gonna worry about it. I want to get this back together and I'm going to run it. I'm assuming I need to put a screw here. Just making sure the wires are down and away from the flywheel. Plug in that front light. Try not to pinch the wires between the smoke unit and the top of the boiler. Oh, interesting. So I either need to put the boiler front on before mounting boiler to the bottom portion of the engine, or I need to take off the front steps to do it. I guess it's better than a screw right through the top of the engine though. So you got to make sure that the wire for the headlight doesn't get pinched. And the other wire that was giving me a hard time was the one coming up from this ground point for the tender. Uh, it was getting caught under the shell. When I put screws into uh, especially cast parts, I like to spin them backwards a time or two. I feel like it helps line up the threads so, so you don't strip them when you tighten them down. So then before I go and put the coupler on, I'm going to remove the front step again so I can secure the boiler front. If I put the switches back in properly, the smoke unit is on and so is the reverse board. And the reverse board is on, it will change direction. Still remains to be seen if it will smoke.
I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time on DA Griffin Hobby.